years, as, as we know. Uh, they, we've, we've been told, a former Trump employee told CNN, Allen knows where all the financial bodies are buried, perhaps at the least. Trump's former longtime attorney, Jay Goldberg, David, once told me, in terms of the money trail, I'm quoting Jay here, in terms of the money trail, Donald can be hurt, I believe, a great deal by Allen Weisselberg. So what do you think, David? Does Weisselberg stay loyal here no matter what, or does he turn on Trump? Well, the trick for prosecutors here is to persuade Alan Weiselberg that if he doesn't cooperate, he's going to die in prison. And what do you want to do? You want to turn on this man who you have been completely obedient to for 40 years and his father before that, or do you want to go to prison? And whether Alan Weiselberg can separate himself from Donald Trump at this point, because he's so closely connected with him and has been so we're browbeaten by Donald and stayed around. That's that's really the crucial question here. Uh, it's entirely possible you could see both Donald and Allen on trial together under the Martin Act for tax fraud. And New York State, of course, has a little RICO Act. Uh, and uh, I've long thought that that's also another likely charge to be brought because you Ouch. only have to show three criminal acts to qualify for that. See, yeah, I'm really and finding three oh, criminal acts in the Trump yeah, organization is about as hard as yeah. finding the traffic light mm -hmm. in the Midtown Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Help me out. Let me show um, you. Um, I don't know. 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 That's the person there, though. The, yeah. I also asked you about the context here, right? You said that this criminal investigation into the Sierra, chief financial officer, right? Person the person who worked with Trump for 40 years. Then you have the attorney general's investigation into Trump or now criminal. Now, we've been covering it for a while, right? Civil, civil, civil. Well, all of a sudden, now criminal. So tell me why that's so important. What might have changed uh, to, to, to make that, that jump, which appears to be so significant? Well, that's in part the big question as to why now. Now, we're all learning about the criminal action and criminal investigation. We don't know when the Trump org was informed of the criminal investigation at this point in time and how long they've known about it. The question is, what has changed? Is there an introduction of new information? Or is it the level and aggregate of what the conduct has been? Oftentimes, you look at the overall scope of what is being done and what is being alleged or investigated. You can go from the civil liability, where you're talking about financial penalties in the most part, to the civil world and the deprivation of liberty in prison time, depending upon the scope of the conduct, the 